this has been in my Meccano collection or pile if you will for oh I don't know five or six years always fancied some a bit like my Baco although I've bought a little bit more than I was gonna but not a massive amount just as a taster see what it's like and it's a bit of an um, odd construction system when you think of modern safety by modern safety standards perhaps a little well perhaps alarming to some people but it was introduced before world war ii in fact in time for christmas 1934 aimed at the younger builder it consists of putting the parts together rather like a door hinge where you put the two parts together and the interlocking bits are held together by a small or narrow rod now these sets have a weird history certainly post-war in 1936 there was a smaller outfit a zero or o outfit i've also read somewhere that there was a number three as you can expect come world war Two, and it's stated that the ban on metal toys being produced was january first of january 1942 but it did return as you can see with my sets or at least one of them november 1947 in the new colours that you see here yellow and blue and it ceased production in 1954 then it was revived again in 1958 its final demise the information of which is a little sketchy it's either 1962 or 1965 now going back to that aforementioned possibility of a number three outfit whilst i've not seen any pictures of any number three sets i have in fact found an instruction book for well actually number naught to number three including the ones and twos of course there's some uh, interesting models very art deco in some respects and some of the buildings but whilst there's the usual tables and chairs and that sort of thing in the smaller sets the number three we've got tank swing bridge windmill tram car submarine aeroplanes there's also reference to supermodels now my sets i've struggled really to exactly find out for certain what one of the sets is what year it is if i go on the instruction books they are the one and the one a seem to be september 1947 it says here although it wasn't introduced or perhaps it's better to say it wasn't in the shops until november of that year the accessory outfit has a guarantee slip but it's very very faded but it seems to suggest that the 1a 1956 i think now the one doesn't have a slip a guarantee slip the number two outfit comes with its own instruction book now this one dates january 53 but this number two does have a guarantee slip as well and it's even worse than the other one not only is it skew if and faded but the bit that we really want straddles the edge of the guarantee slip but i could tell you it is 1958 so there you go a little bit of a sneak peek if you like at dinky builder and we'll be giving them a go very shortly mm -hmm.